Allow me to bring you guys back about a year around this time when there was so much hype surrounding Call of Duty 2017, also known as Call of Duty World War II. Now, earlier in the year 2017, Activision came out with statements saying that Call of Duty 2017 will be boots on the ground and Call of Duty will be heading back to its roots, which made a lot of old school fans really, really excited for this game. And yeah, for the most part, this game kind of felt like an old school COD game, going back to a lot of the stuff in game, relating to real life events and this ranges from the multiplayer maps the weapons the divisions and a whole lot more also the boots on the ground movement were definitely a nice change up especially because for the past three years we've had double jumps and then for the two previous years we had wall runs now on november the 3rd 2017 call of duty world war 2 went officially live across the world and sadly the servers were not ready to handle this many people because for over an hour players were not able to connect online which by the way this kind of stuff does happen quite often every release for a cod game but the fact that players could not connect online really brought a sour taste to everyone's mouth especially since this game had so much hype going into it and i remember this day quite well because i made a video on it and just seeing the massive amounts of hate and backlash the devs got on social media did kind of prompt me to make that video um but yeah like i said a lot of people were very unhappy and this did start the derailment of the hype train for Call of Duty World War II. One of the main features in World War II was the headquarters and sadly for a few months the headquarters was completely broken because the lobby would not populate with players. This little area that was specifically designed for COD fans to interact with each other was basically just a barren wasteland. You could not get social score from other players in the HQ. You couldn't watch random people open up their supply drops. You couldn't experience the flat gun event which by the way I've only played in once and yeah it's it was pretty depressing but finally after a few months the headquarters was working properly but then after that there were other complications that would show up in a different area such as rank play you could not play with a party in there some players could not spawn in the game until like 10 seconds after the match already started there was a huge list of issues that players came up with over on the World War II reddit and a lot of things these uh, uh, players could not do in game they should not even be happening especially because this game was in development for three freaking years now fast forward to a little bit ahead and michael condry and glenn skillfield who were the studio heads at sledgehammer games were basically mia because they did not tweet anything about cod for months and this was around the time when fans were very upset because the game did kind of get stale and boring because there was no fresh content but then shortly after we find out that both studio heads had left sledgehammer games to work for activision and now the new studio head is Aaron Halen and ever since he's came on the scene World War 2 has definitely improved a whole hell of a lot more compared to the way it was a few months ago. There was a huge change up with the divisions there were frequent content updates such as events for the headquarters and yeah a lot of things fans were complaining about were getting addressed and instead of not having much communication between the devs and fans we now have weekly update blog posts from them also DLC pack 2 and 3 were pretty decent and way better compared to DLC 1's maps in my opinion but yeah I'm not afraid to say it I did not like Call of Duty World War 2 but after these updates I have been having a lot more fun the new Liberty Strike event is live now and I've been playing that a few times with my friends and uh, they also feel the same way as I do so I do feel that you should come back and check out some of the new content and new core features of the game if you've left however it's still just a bit disappointing because I think if this game were to come out the way it is now on November the the third I think there would be a lot more players playing Call of Duty and the whole scene would not be in the state it's in right now because Infinite Warfare did receive a ton of hate World War 2 has now received a ton of hate which I believe is the reason why we don't see much hype for Black Ops 4 right now but uh, if anything we have now seen that the devs are able to adapt to changes but on launch day I feel it's vital for the devs to make a huge impact or else some of the new games coming out that you know do have a a lot of traction going for them such as Red Dead Battlefield etc may blow COD out of the water this year. We've already seen how much of a frenzy Fortnite has turned the gaming scene into and I really really do hope that Black Ops 4 can do the same. I do have hope and I know there still is definitely a lot of potential in the next Call of Duty game and I really do look forward to playing that and producing content for you guys so tell me your thoughts about this down below in the comments about Call of Duty World War 2 
and just your th overall thoughts on the hype train for Black Ops 4. Also, drop a like if you guys did enjoy, and be sure to follow me on Twitter for updates, and thank you guys for watching. Till next time, I'll see you guys later.